People are tired of watching City Hall. It's like a comedy show down at City Hall. They go around and around and around. Nothing gets done. Good evening. Premier Doug Ford has just lobbed a political nuclear bomb into Toronto's upcoming municipal elections. And as you can see, these people here are not very happy about it, staging a rally after Ford's announcement that he is downsizing Toronto city councillors from 47 to 25, just three months before voters go to the polls. Doug Ford says it will save taxpayers $25 million and make government more efficient. Others, like the protesters here, say it will just cause chaos. It is the most dysfunctional political arena in the country, City Hall. This is something I fought for at City Hall, something I continue to believe in today, and no one has ever said to me, Doug, we need more politicians. In fact, it's the opposite. Ford is ripping up the municipal boundaries and aligning them with existing federal and provincial ones instead. He never once mentioned this on the campaign trail, and the news has taken most by complete surprise. It means veteran councillors will be running against each other and political newcomers will face an even bigger challenge. But it also cuts off two of Doug Ford's political opponents at the knees. Mayor John Tory, who ran against Ford and beat him in the last election, will have to weather the storm while running for re-election. And former PC leader Patrick Brown was planning on running for regional chair in Peel. Ford has cancelled that election as well. Is this simply a political grudge match against your old foes at City Hall and Patrick Brown? I'm glad you uh, asked me that question. Uh, I consulted with thousands of people right across this city, and every person I talked to said, you have to reduce the size of government. Nothing is getting done. Mayor John Tory is calling for a referendum on the matter. I then spoke to Premier Ford and told him in no uncertain terms that the process around this stunning and massive change is absolutely not right. You don't change the rules in the middle of the game. That is not right and that is not fair. Are there too many councillors? Is it unwieldy? I mean, we've all sat through those council meetings and it, it grinds to a halt at times. I've said I'm very willing to have the discussion about altering the size of the city council, but we should look at it in a kind of a thoughtful, uh, you know, careful way. The opposition at Queen's Park is slamming Doug Ford for the move. Mr. Ford is trying to rig the City of Toronto elections to consolidate power in his own office. Toronto hasn't seen anything like this politically since PC Premier Mike Harris said he was going to amalgamate the city 21 years ago. He didn't campaign on that either. Now, nominations were supposed to close this afternoon at 2 o'clock. They have now been extended until September 14th.